Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa and I'm a good YouTuber that is trying to have a year long no buy. And today I am doing a multiple looks with one palette and I have used the Arcana palette from Shroud. I do love this palette but I don't use it that much. It looks like this, so this is a really dark palette and I'm not going to lie, I think I'm going to struggle a little bit to coming up with looks with this, but I think for my first look that I know what I want to do. So I think we just get started and I will leave timestamps down in the description for each of the looks. So yeah, I think we just hop into this. So I am going to use shimmers in all of these looks I think because it is a lot of shimmers and amazing shimmers and for the first look we we are just going to hop in and i'm sorry if you hear a lot of sounds outside but i have the window open and i'm not going to be able to record if i don't have the window open because it's starting to get hot in sweden and our apartment is in the sun the whole day and like air condition, it's not a thing in Sweden. Um, so I'm going to start with this sacred and then I'm a little going to take nocturnal and familiar, I at least think. I'm going to start with this one, but I can remember this is kind of dark and I do really love this palette i think it's such a cool color story but it is kind of dark and maybe more like a complimentary palette but i'm going to try to do this and okay this isn't you just go in with a little bit at the time And I remember I waited so so long for this palette. I was so happy when it finally did arrive. I think there is people that are playing like football outside. We have like over the street from our apartment it's a park and a tennis court. And people do play football in the park and tennis and things, so it is a lot. And did it sound a little bit luxury? We have a tennis court. It's not that. It's not. <laughs> it's not like a gated community if we say it like that. The tennis court is for everybody. Okay, so for my lid, I'm going in with Nocturnal and Familiar. And I don't think I want to take something more matte now. So I'm going to start with this Nocturnal and Shroud. They have some of my most, like one of the best shimmer formula in my opinion. Because it is just amazing. I do really really like this and then I'm going in with the lighter shimmer hopefully yes like a little shimmery crunchy dream and these are so they are so so easy to work with these shimmers and I love a shimmer that you can blend up to the crease. And do you know what? I think I'm like done like this. I do really, really love the crunchiness about this. I'm maybe going to take something in my waterline, like something a little bit lighter or more neutral. I guess I will take like Honey Dude from Colourpop. Just to not have it too dark and also because I just love to... I'm back on that trend. I don't know what happened but... Do you remember that trend like... 
five years back or something when everybody did something more nudish in their wash line to open up the eye I'm apparently fan of that again and I do not know why so I just want to go in with my crease brush but with no additional color and just blend here in the crease a little bit just to blend everything together I do really like these eyes they are dark but not like super dark and it's something is happening it's just not one color something is going on on my lids and I do really like it so I'm going to take away the fallout, fix my base trying to choose a lip for this I think it's going to be really really hard so I will do that and then I come back so this is the finished look for my face I did use this contour stick from Isadora Isadora uh, Independence from Nabla and Awesome from Nabla and on my waterline I did use <laughs> from Colourpop and on my lips I did use Dune from Kaleidos and ah, uh, itch on my face so this is my first look with the Arcana palette and I do really like it I think it's dark but it's not like too dark and I did only use three shades so I used sacred familiar and nocturnal and i do really like this one and i love the shimmers in this one i'm going to do a review in the end of this video but the shimmers in this palette it's something special so yeah this was my first look with our kana palette and if you want to see more just keep on watching and i can just like it's going to be a lot of shimmers in this but I hope you will like it. So it's time for the second look with our Kana palette and I'm using a new eyeshadow primer. This is from Kaleidos. Their eyeshadow primer. I haven't used this. I have it open in my box. So we will see how this will work. Hopefully it works good. Today or for this look I am going to do a gold look. So I'm mainly focusing on these two colors this in my crease and this on my lid and then I guess I want to deepen down my outer corner I'm thinking about taking darkling or maybe a shroud I don't know but I will start with this one in my crease and um, now we'll see this eyeshadow primer <laughs> what it's going for I have used the Milani one so so long and I really do love that one, so we will see if this is good. So far, the eyeshadow looks like it should. And I am so looking forward to just a really gold lid and then take a really deep red lip to this. I think it will look amazing. So I do really hope this look will look amazing, but I think because it's kind of a simple look. So okay, I just guess that we are going in with the gold one all over the lid. And I I think that my first impression with this palette, I think I took this gold one and this green shimmer one or maybe that one. And did it look because I do really love a green and a gold look. I think green and gold goes really really good together. And this gold is just an amazing color. It's an amazing shade. And I love that it's not that bright. It is kind of dark. But I think this whole palette is just a dark, crunchy dream. And I think that is why I do love this palette so much. Because I think it's a really unique palette. Okay, I actually think that I want to go in with... I 
I think this one just a little bit in my crease because I think that is a little bit darker than the other one I used and just deepen it down a little bit so I'm taking a pointer fluffy brush just go over in my crease and see if it will blend it did blend good together but see if I can make it a little bit better I don't know if it did that much, but I do think that I like it. Okay, I do really, really like the eyes like this, but I think I want to deepen down my outer corner with something just so it doesn't get the same color all over the lid. So I will go in with this darkling. I think that will be the best choice, actually. I don't know, but I think I just put it, maybe this doesn't even want to stuck on here, yes it uh, want to. I do love this lids, I really think it looks so grungy and cool and just imagine the really dark red lips of this, so yeah, I will take away the fallouts, fix my base. Choose one of my darker reds and then I come back with the finished second look. So this is the finished look for my contour. I did use this contour stick from Isadora. For my blush, I did use Berry Nude from Nobla and I only used this one. As highlighter, I used Ozone from Nobla. On my wash line, I did use Wildcat from Colourpop. <laughs> my lips I took Rapture from Lethal this is like my new favorite red and a lip gloss from Kaleidos in Dramat Dramatize and yeah I do <laughs> love this look I really love how grungy it is so the colors I did use was I am not going to try to pronounce this this one, this one, this one, and that one. And I am just so happy this turned out exactly as I wanted it to. And I just love the gold shade and I loved to take the matte green over out here. And the thing I love about this gold shade is it's really, really crunchy gold. It's not like bright, it's like dirty kind of gold. And I do like my colors dirty, if you didn't know. So I'm super pleased with this look and it's just, the shimmers in this palette is amazing. It, they are just smooth as like butter and they are just some of the most amazing shimmers I have ever tried. And it's going to be so fun to do one more look. So yeah, this is going to be free looks one palette. So if you want to see look number three, just keep on watching. But so far, this is my favorite look and I don't know what to do for my third look. I have some ideas, but I'm not sure. But so far, this is definitely my favorite look. It is time for the third look with the Arcana palette. And today again, I'm going to do today. For this look, I'm going to do a super simple look as well. I'm going to do two different eyes and I'm going to do a blue eye and a green eye. So for my blue eye, I'm going to use Mystic and Shroud. And for my green eye, it's going to be Darkling and Ultimai. And I actually think that I will start with the shimmers or should I start with the crease shades? No, I start with the crease shades. So I think this eye is going to be green and this is going to be blue. Okay, now I apparently starting with the blue one and this shade is so dark and I do think I messed it up a little bit. Maybe I can fix it. I never usually start with my left eye, but uh, 
you take the wrong color that is what you have to do and I don't want to go in super much with this one because I don't want it super super dark but at the same time I don't want it to be like patchy and now it almost looks more bluish no more gray blue I think that that is maybe enough and then I'm going in with darkling that I know is really really dark green almost like I don't know it's not black but it's a really really deep green a really like deep and mossy green and that is one thing I do really love about this palette how deep it actually is I think this green shade is a little bit better than the blue shade and I wonder how this looks for you for me it looks kind of good, kind of dirty but kind of good. So I'm just going in now with the shimmers and I'm going to take the green one on this side and just take it on my whole lid. The only thing that bothers me a little bit is that this shimmer green is more of a like happy green and the matte green is more as yeah like a mossy deeper green so maybe there isn't like the best combo but I do like the contrast between them so that the dark no <laughs> the matte shade is a really Deep and dark and crunchy and this is a little bit more fun maybe but it's still really dark. And then I'm taking the blue and I think it is the same with this one. Yeah it is. So maybe this is not turning out as good as I imagine it to be. I'm taking some of the blue shimmers, the blue shimmer on top of my brush and smudge it out and then I'm going in with the brush that I had in my crease but with no additional color and no additional cat hair and just smudge it. And I don't know if it looks a little bit like too messy and dirty as I. If I'm going to be honest, I'm not super pleased. I think that this green eye looks so much better. But at the same time, when I'm doing these dark eyes and more like grunge eyes like this, I do really need my base and also to like take away the fallouts because this is just looking messy and it's not like super strange that it does because this is all that is going on so yeah I will take away the fallouts fix my base and then I come back and I will give a little review and thoughts that I have about this palette and also I will come back with a finished third look so this is the finished look for my face. I did use these three from Nabla. So it's Ombra, Lola and Ozone. For my wash line I did use Honey Dune from Colourpop. And on my lips I did use Anemia from Lethal and a gloss from Body Shop that is Apple Taffy. And yeah, I don't know what I feel about this look. It feels... I don't know like the under eyes feels a little bit messy but yeah <laughs> this is my finished fur look so I have used darkling mystic 
Alchemy, 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 and Shroud. And I thought that I, I thought I'm going to do a review on this palette now. And if we like start off, Shroud is one of my favorite brands, especially when it comes to shimmers. Like the shimmers are amazing. I do love their shimmers really, really much. And it's no like exception in this one. And I do really, really like the palette. The only thing I feel with this palette, I have a little bit hard time of coming up with looks or like different looks. There is some looks that I don't think, okay, how should I put this? I think it's hard to do a lot of different looks if you don't want to use the same shades over and over again. Does that even make sense? But the thing, I would wish for one like lighter matte shade. The matte shades are really dark. This isn't that dark and not this one either. But like this one is really, really dark and this one is really dark as well. It's workable, but I think it's a little bit harder to come up with looks, even though <laughs> that I love this palette. But the one thing that stands out in this palette is the shimmers. These shimmers are amazing, all of them. I love this gold shimmer because it is a really like dirty, dirty gold. And this pink is so, so nice. I didn't use it in this look. I have used it before in my shroud week I had. And yeah, I think this is a really grungy, cool palette. I think though it's best like together with other palettes. And I think that the shimmers are like the star of this palette. And this is not my favorite look that I've done, but I do really like this. I Blue is still a color that I struggle a bit with when it comes to eyeshadows. I think it makes me look paler than I am. So how that's even possible. So this is not my favorite eye. I do like the shimmers and what I love about the shimmers in this palette, they are so easy to blend out. I could easily do a look with only shimmers in this and uh, just blend it out. But I think it's a little bit hard of palette to work with if you don't want to do the same look over and over again. But yeah, I, I do love this palette and I do recommend it if you want. If you want good shimmers, I do recommend this. And I hope that I have inspired some of you. If you have this palette at home, what you can do with it. The thing that I do really love with this is that doing these kinds of looks are so easy because there is a shimmer and a matte that goes really good together and it's really easy to do a simple look. Like this green eye is a really good green eye. So yeah, I guess that's all for my little review on this palette. I do not know if this is in stock right now. Um, but I think so. Is it? But yeah, I do think it's a really cool grungy palette and if you want some more grungy things in your collection I think this is a great palette to to buy. I do really hope that you've liked this video. I hope that you've liked that I have done free looks one palette again and I don't know if there is anything more I should say in this review. If you have some questions about the palette please let me know and I will try to answer them. I don't know the last two looks I've done, I have used this new eyeshadow primer that is from Kaleidos. I do not know if I like this more than my Milani or I don't. Um, but I think the eyeshadow looks good. It's not just what I'm used to use because I've used the Milani one for so long. But just so you know, and yeah, the only thing I wished more in this palette is more mattes, more lighter mattes, or at least one. 
because this pelt isn't like super true to pan as this one you see in the beginning of this look this is really it's not okay it's maybe true to pan but it's not that good when you blend it it becomes a little bit more messy and um, it looks a little bit more maybe not dirty but it looks a little bit not that good when you start to blend it. I think it works good to have it in your crease but um, just be aware that especially this shroud does look a little bit more dirty when you blend it. It isn't that that blue it turns more to a gray um but yeah i guess that is all <laughs> for this video i do really hope you like it and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and i hope that i will see you in the next one bye